What is up you guys, this is Jerry Spalding here, and today, for my 800th video, I figured I'd do a really good one. So, today I'm going to be talking about how precious metals are your greatest defense against the government, or more specifically, the Federal Reserve, which, of course, I've talked about how they rob you before, you know, through inflation, through wealth stealing, all that good stuff. But if you want to check out that video, and, you know, if you don't exactly understand what I'm saying, then... Go ahead and check out that video. It has some, what I think is some decent information in there. But I'm going to be talking about today how precious metals are your greatest defense. So, the government has one basic job for us, right? And that is to protect us, both from outside and inside threats. You know, outside threats being something like, you know, a foreign country declaring war on us and trying to invade. While inside threats being, you know, a terrorist, terrorist organization of the country, right? So, you know, I'm sure, you know, I mean, a few things slip through here and there, but overall the government does its job pretty well, especially dealing with foreign threats, which it better be considering the fact that so much of our budget goes into our military, you know, which is what we're paying taxes for. I mean, that's what we're paying taxes for is to be protected mainly from the government. That's their job. But the one person that they don't protect us from is themselves. And I mean, it makes sense because if they did that, then they wouldn't be able to rob us, right? And that's where, I mean... You know, that's where the hidden taxes come in, if you will. Because, you know, property tax, income tax, all that good stuff, you can see it, you know about it. But what you don't know about is the hidden, you know, the hidden ways that they really are stealing, stealing money from you. I, at least what I consider stealing because of the fact that, you know, they are taking basically your wealth away and giving you nothing in return for it. Seems like stealing to me, especially if you don't even know about this whole thing going on. And I'll briefly go over it again, just in case you don't feel like watching a different video. But basically, there's a few ways to steal your money. For one, uh, and I mean, they all go together to one major thing, and that is, of course, inflation. You know, by taking our currency and turning it into a fiat currency by unrepresenting it with precious metals, they did steal your wealth. I mean, because then they're allowed to currency in unlimited quantities so there's nothing representing it and then every dollar that's going into circulation is devaluing every other dollar just by that little bit but when you talk about billions of dollars being put into circulation you know all the time that really is where the whole effect comes in to play of major inflation and of course that's stealing your wealth by you know bringing up the, making everything gain value besides the dollar itself so Let's say you started saving in 1980, right? All oh, well, any money you save that year you lost about 300% of its value. I mean, inflation going up by 300%, you know, that money's worth about one third of what it used to be. And, or that currency, I mean, which of course, you know, it doesn't apply to precious metals because they do the opposite and increase in value as inflation goes up. You know, there are commodities do really well during this type of thing because, I mean, for one, of course, if the dollar's losing value, then it's going to be cost more U.S. dollars to buy precious metals. But for two, as they become rare and rare over time, you know, the they automatically just kind of gain value, as opposed to if their value was fixed by you know with us having a standard currency and it being attached to precious metals being represented by them, then our currency would be fixed, or Currency. Our currency would be locked in with um, precious metals, so you can only make a certain amount of it, and every dollar would be represented by, let's say, you know, a certain amount of silver or gold, and you could, you know, every dollar would be redeemable for that amount of silver or gold, which makes, you know, makes it them not able to print as much currency because they need to have that silver and gold backing it, or else they can't print any more currency, and that's why, whenever you have you have a standard currency. Inflation always nets out to be zero. And with the whole, you know, fiat currency and everything and the whole robbery that's basically going on behind our backs, the you know, best way to protect yourself is through precious metals because, and here's the whole way where they do protect you from this robbery is the fact that with inflation, over time, your dollar is losing more. You know, losing its value as they put more dollars into circulation, and that good stuff. You are losing value. However, if you take in the same money and 
let's say in nine, what do we say 1980, let's say you put it into precious metals, well, my friend, you'd be seeing huge returns now, not huge losses, you know. So over time, precious metals, you know, if you take your currency and put it into real money, which is precious metals, then that is really going to help you out in the long run because not only do they just generally gain value, but they actually keep their original value, they retain it, and they actually build up more and more value as the dollar loses value and they become worth more and more dollars to the point where it might even, you know, cause the do dollar to entirely collapse and a house might cost, you know, 100 ounces of silver as opposed to $50,000, right? So at that point, you're going to need precious metals because they're going to be the only way of bartering. And I'm not saying, you know, in a total, like, I'm not, I'm not even saying that a whole economic collapse is going to happen. And in a situation like that, before people did reestablish currency, I do believe that you're going to want to have some, you know, type of weapons to protect yourself because people are probably going to be, you know, looting, maybe mass rioting, <clears throat> especially if the government can't keep control of the situation. But if people do want to reestablish currency and, you know, have some system of bartering, then... These precious metals are going to be what's going to be used because they're the most viable option. They actually are, you know, valued for as a real source of money all around the world. So you can bring this to all this to any other country and it's still going to be worth something. So, you know, that's basically that's basically for this video, I guess. I do really hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, my eighth my eight hundredth video. I certainly have done a lot of them, and that's it for now. Peace, love, and much respect.